Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Darius from artistshortcut.com and in this video, we're gonna answer a question that was left by a viewer on one of the videos. So the question was, and it was from Ray Orchestra, I've been doing music for almost 10 years now, recording since 2010, was in a group who disbanded after a death in it, left the whole music scene for a few years, and I'm finally coming back as a solo artist. This was a nice introduction to building a fan base, but what can I do to reinvent myself and start fresh with the fans I do have due to my prior group? To answer this question, the first thing I would figure out is one, where are the fans at that were uh, from your prior group? Are they still following you, on, following you on social media? Do you have their emails? Um, what type of method, how do you classify them as being a fan or know they're still a fan? Uh, is it just people who said they liked your music before when you were in the group? You know, you got to figure that part out first because that, that will determine what method you use to contact them and just to update them on what you've got going on. So if they're just following you on social media and you haven't really stayed in contact with them, I would hit each one up individually because I'm just going to assume that you don't have thousands of these fans or else you probably have another way or already know how to deal with this. But if it's just uh, anything less than a few hundred, I would just contact them one by one and just reach up on them, see what they've been doing, see how they are. Um, just say, hey, I'm so-and-so from a from whatever the group was that you had before. Um, just wanted to, to reach out and say thanks again for something they did beforehand and then tell them like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm dropping my first solo song or I'm dropping my first solo project or whatever it is that you want to drop and let them know that, but piece it together in a very, in a very friendly way. You don't want it to just be like you're promoting yourself. If you have their email address, that's a completely different thing. I would reach out via email and say, um, hey, I know I haven't reached out to you in a while or I haven't dropped any new music in a while. Um, I just want to let you know that I do have so and so coming or I do have an event coming, I do have an event coming or whatever it is that you have coming and let them know that in the email, you can get straight to the promotion just because they signed up for, I'm assuming promotions and, and just getting your, your songs first or whatever it is you offer. Um, so they're, they're kind of already invested in what you have to offer. I would also too, man, if you have, if you've been posting things like periodically, uh, in your kind of like your solo career so far, like just posting like, Hey, do music, blah, blah, blah. I would go, I would go silent for a minute. I would work on your, your music, work on your image, all these, these different aspects of becoming a music artist and just go silent. Let people forget, not forget, but put it to the back. You want people to put what you previously did in the back of their mind. So then when you do release the new you, the new solo artist, it's easier to digest. And that's how I would I would focus on engaging the fans that you had previously, as well as just starting off. I have another video that I can't remember which exact video, but it's it's in this how to build a fan base uh, series. So I would recommend just watch every single video because it's a lot of good information in there. But I talk about how you just need to you need to make friends. Every fan you have in the beginning will basically be a friend of yours. In turn, they end up liking your music because they like you. Uh, so I would continue to to do that. And then, yeah, man, I, you just got to work on your image. You got to work on your branding. You got to work on all the other parts because people are always going to associate uh, the old you with or the new you with the old you. It's just going to be a battle. Um, but you, as long as you consistently come through and, and, and put out good music and, and have your branding right and you're just a good person overall, um, if you consistently do that, people will adjust to the new you. So that's how I would do it. Um, if you have any questions, just you can leave a comment under this video and uh, I'll try to help out as much as possible. Uh, please thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, I got, I still got the shirts on. And these shirts are, I like them, man. They simple. Black and white will go with almost anything. Uh, and the logo is just dope. So I highly recommend that you cop some shirts. I got a link in the description and I might also pin it to the comment. But I'm Darius from artistshortcut.com and I'll talk to you guys again in about a week.